Did you get? Yes, sir. I have started the recording. Okay, good. This is triple E four five zero three. What is the course title? So power electronics. Course title. Power electronics. Good. So three credit course. Three credit course. I shall take 1.5 credit. That means I shall meet you uh, once in a day, in a week, and um, uh, your Fahim Abid is he's very good. He is a scholar, and I hope uh, he will meet your demand in power electronics, and he will take 1.5 credit. Another, uh, he will meet with you once in another week. And on the same week, sorry. And we, we, he will try to cover some topics. And then if we feel that um, you are not satisfied, then I'll repeat all those things, inshallah, taking some extra time from you to cover those things, okay? And we are preparing the course plan, plan uh, based on the they call it OBE. Have you heard the name OBE? Any teacher mentioned that thing, OBE? Um, Sir, is it objective-based education? No, outcome-based education. Outcome-based education. No teacher has said this thing to you. Um, sir, Shagor sir has mentioned it in the previous semester. Okay. So this is the thing like uh, now the whole world is doing these things and it is uh, something like that, like um, say there will be some objectives of your course. That objective must match some of the uh, program objective means that your basic engineering program that must be mapped with that one. That program objective must match with the mission and vision of the university. And then uh, in the last, there must be, they call it uh, program education outcome. Then you people, when you will be senior, and then also the, your employer industry, they will assess whether you have the ability of critical thinking and to innovate something. So if these are nicely matched, then we can say that we have achieved the outcome-based education. It is not like the only the qualitative, like, like that we have to have some quantitative. Like what uh, quantitative means uh, I am, I, I, I'll make a question then this question must target to fulfill some of the objective of my course. And then after the exam, we will find out if the student, <coughs> say in your section, <coughs> 45 students are there. Say if all of you will get more than 50% of to answer this question, marks will be 50% uh, of that one, then we will we'll <clears throat> assume that the that objective has been achieved. <clears throat> so do, we have started with this one. Great has already started. And then with this outcome-based education, the final target is that we will get the accreditation. You, have you heard the name of accreditation? Yes, sir. Yes, so when the, your program will be accredited, program means your BSc engineering, electrical and electronic, it will be accredited, then you will, you will be able to go any university to have your higher education, maybe any industry for your RNH or maybe as an electrical engineer, they will hire you because your program is accredited. Okay, so I am just giving you some basic idea. It is not that much easy to tell you because we are now having workshop one and a half hours, two hours almost 
two or three weeks to learn. We are also learning, the teachers are learning. Okay, so from the student side, um, uh, it is not much, uh, there is no uh, burden for you. It is our teachers from the faculty side, they will have to do all those things. You have to just go through uh, the same way what you did for your first year and second year. Okay, so the, um, uh, this course, let us go back to this course. We will uh, follow mainly two books, particularly me, the textbook. We shall mention that thing uh, in your course plan, inshallah. We will deliver your course plan next, next week. We are still preparing this with this OBE thing, so that is why it is taking time. Power electronics, uh, converter, applications, basic of the converters, applications, and design. This book is actually uh, not many topics will be followed, but it is a very good book. This is the third edition I will follow. And it is available in the uh, library actually when the face-to-face -face class could be going on, then you could have <coughs> collected this book from the library. Now you have to have to collect the uh, PDF version or PDF. I have the PDF I can give you and also your fourth year senior brothers, you can contact them, they have that one. And you can also collect from the inter internet. So three writers, they have written these books, Ned Mohan, then Poor uh, M. Andilan. So we normally write down just these things, Andilan and then Robbins, William P. Robbins, so Robbins. So this is very standard book. Uh, most of the topic of this book we cover in the master's level. And there is another book, this is very, very famous book. And this book is, uh, written by uh, Mr. Harun Rashid. This man is uh, from Bangladesh, but he has written this, this book. And this book is uh, very, very much, actually I should say all over the world, this book is followed. How can I improve it? Just, just hold on. Okay. So name of the book is uh, number two. I should write power electronics. They call it devices. Instead of writing the converter, they write down devices and circuits. Actually, devices and circuits together is the converter and application. Muhammad H. Rashid. So, most of the topics will be followed from this book. Some of the Topics also will be followed this book. So I should say this is number one and this should be number two. Okay. So that will be given to you, inshallah, <clears throat> next year in a format. So now let us uh, have an idea of what is power electronics first. You see, we have two terms here. One is the power and another is the electronics. 
So <clears throat> you are familiar with both. I believe that you are familiar with this power and also this electronics, right? So this power, <clears throat> this power is not the muscle power, rather than what power? Electric power. Right, electric power. And electronics, this is, you look, you look here, this is the noun of uh, the, that one, the power, electronics, right? So we have already, we have already some idea, some idea, ideas about electronics. Where did you get this idea? Where, where, where? Who has given you in this university, who has given you first idea about these electronics things? Sir, you second. have given us the idea. When? Sir, in second semester. In second semester, yes. The course was 4203, triple E. And the course title was electronics. Electronics one or electronic one? Electronic or electronics one. Electronic circuit one or electronic one, I forgot. Electronic circuits one or electronic one? Uh, all of you forget. Anyway, so there we have learned some or something, right? Can anyone re can re remember what are the things we have learned over there? If you remember. So are the basics of BJT, MOSFET, and um, JFET. So he said that. Okay, BJT, then MOSFET, right? MOSFET and? JFET. Okay, JFET. Yes, also JFET. And any other things we have done? Diodes. Sir, diodes. Yes, diode. PN diode, PN junction diode. So in that course, what we did, uh, we, we have tried to see the construction first and then uh, the characteristics. So construction, characteristics, then circuits with that one and then applications, right? Yes, sir. Okay, for the diode, PN junction diode, I'm not going for that construction details and characteristics things we can review here. Can you remember the characteristics of PN junction diode? Ideal characteristics. First, let us see, this is V and this is your I and this is your diode. This is your anode and this is your cathode and current should follow this, this way, right? The voltage between here to here, we call it VD. Okay, this is your VD and suppose this is your ID. Okay, if we now say what will be your ideal characteristics? Can you remember ideal characteristics? Yes, sir. It will follow a parabolic e equation crossing the origin. No, ideal, ideal. Ideally, if a positive voltage is applied here, from here to here, anode to cathode, then current will follow this way, right? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Infinitely, the current will go this way. And there will be no current uh, in the left side or the other, this side or this side. When the V <coughs> is, say, a voltage is applied here, then only the current will be there, current will be greater than zero, but the voltage this VD will be zero, right? Yes, and sir. We, so if this is the diode and we say that this is the turn on position, on position of the diode. <clears throat> and when the voltage is reversed or no voltage is there, or if the voltage is reversed, say, the voltage is negative, 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 there will be no current, then current will be zero 
i will be zero or id will be zero whatever if the current is here id id will be zero but the, the voltage will be it is open switch it is like open switch voltage will be vd that will depend on the circuit here whatever the circuit you have connected like this right yes sir so that will be determined by this if you apply the cross voltage law if there is current then you can always find that one and if there is no current then of course the voltage will be say this is your say 10 volt and if this is 15 volt or okay this is 20 volt this then you can find out the voltage will be minus 5 volt or something like that right so that will be your uh, on switch when the voltage is just greater than zero plus then there will be current and we call it vd is equal to zero and there will be some current and when it is reverse biased so there will be no current and also the voltage will be determined by the circuit so that is the diode we have uh, studied and also this is the ideal diode but we have also uh, studied the actual diode characteristics if you remember This is your say V and this is I V characteristics if you remember this is here. Can we remember this? Yes, sir. So the equation is the shockless equation that is your IS e to the power V N N V T and V T minus one, right? Yes, sir. And here then we have modeled this characteristics by the diode characteristics were model in three one was the ideal model this one then we have that constant voltage model if you remember that say so constant voltage model says so this is this is a 0 0.07 volt and sometimes people also use the piecewise linear model. Can you remember this? This will be your say VD zero. And then it will be like, there is a resistance here, one by RD. Then uh, we, VD will be your VDO plus, then ID multiplied by RD. This way we have defined our model. If you remember, it is almost, <coughs> sorry, one and a half years ago. So this way we have made the characteristics of the diode. So, and uh, now you may ask me, sir, what the hell we will do here with this type in power electronics? Okay, electronics, since electronics is there, we shall use this diode only on and off condition, ideally. Either it will be on, depending on the voltage, if the voltage between anode to cathode is just positive, we ideally will see, take that, this voltage will be zero and there will be current, or it will be open, on and off, it will be open. This way we shall use our diode. And BZT MOSFET, Okay, again, say BZT, MOSFET, all these things. We shall, okay, this, this will be termed as devices in this courses and also in the uh, electronics one, we have also called these are the devices. So these devices we shall use only as turn on and turn off. Sir, we will be using the switching mode only. Only the switching mode. I'll come back why uh, we'll do that thing. Okay. For the BZT, I'm just talking out the BZT. If you remember that, okay, let, let us go to our circuit. 
I don't know whether you have remembered it or not, but try to remember this thing, VCC, and this is will V0, and that will just say there is a resistance here. And we shall apply here, say voltage. This is VI. This will be a VBE. In the switching mode, can you remember the switching mode characteristics? Yes, sir. This it will be in the saturation region. VCB and this is your IC. If you remember this one, can you remember this? And this will be your point 0.4 minus point 0.4. Minus point 0.4 volt. And up to this one, we call it, we are in the active mode, right? Yes, sir. And then this is your saturation cutoff. Uh, cut mode. And then here from here to here, it is saturation, zero, saturation mode. In the saturation mode, this voltage uh, VCB will be, OK, let us again remember these things. VCE, this is your VCB. So if I write down the cost of voltage law, VCE will be your VCB plus VBE. And if you remember that uh, in the active mode or in the saturation mode, we keep our uh, transistors base emitter in the forward mode. That means it would be forward biased. Can you remember that? Yes, sir. This is your say NPN transistor. And this is your emitter. And this is your base and this is your say collector. This junction should be a forward biased always either in the active mode or in the saturation. But this CBCB, this junction will be reverse biased. For active mode. For the active mode, yes, but and it will be forward biased. So when it here, it comes here, so both junctions are forward biased. If so, then, okay, VCB is equal to set minus 0.4, VB is equal to say minus 0.7. So this VC, we call it VC set equal to how much? 0.7 minus 0.4 is equal to how much? 0 0.3. 0 0.3 volt, right? Hey, just a moment. So are you here with me? Yes, sir. OK, so in the saturation, this voltage is 0 0.3 volt. Compared to the voltage, say, P C is equal to 10 volt, this 0 0.3 volt is nothing. So when the uh, your transistor in the saturation, this voltage VC is equal to 0 0.3, and we normally take a 0. So look here. This is your collector, and this is your emitter, say. And this is the control point of B. So the voltage between collector to emitter, if it is as a, a switch point, it is in saturation, this will be closed. Practically, the voltage, this VC sad voltage will be 0.3, but 
uh, we will take ideally we will take at zero. And when the your this uh, this one is the cutoff mode, as I mentioned here, Gv equal to zero or negative whatever, then there will be no current, nothing, and then uh, this switch will be open. So then the uh, current will be here. The current will be zero, and this voltage will be determined by you know that what will be your if this is open, then what will be your VC? Suppose okay, I am drawing the figure here. If it is like this open, and suppose this is your RC, and suppose this is your say VCC equal to ten, and this is ground. I am I am trying to find out this voltage. What will be the voltage? VC apply Kasha voltage. So what minus is the minus ten. Yes, just uh, negative, positive, positive, negative. Actually, not minus. Plus. Last right. 10 volt. So um, when the transistor will be in the cutoff, the voltage between the collector to emitter will be determined by the circuit. So this, uh, of course, in inshallah, in this power electronics, we shall uh, do this uh, switching thing. So same way, MOSFET, if you remember the characteristics of the MOSFET. So we shall use this one as a uh, switch, either zero, the voltage across the uh, source to drain will be zero when it will be shorted. And when it will be open, then the current will be zero, the voltage will be determined by the circuit. So this zero one is the basic uh, things of uh, our electronics industry. This uh, switching on, okay, let if, if I write down this way, this is on and this is your off. And on is in the Boolean algebra, you remember that the, when the switch is uh, on, if you apply a voltage, the, when the switch will be on, if the voltage will be zero, then if zero, zero is your zero. And if the voltage is say, greater than five volt, this five volt will go for one, right? Zero, yes, one, sir. zero, one. With this, uh, with this one, the digital electronics uh, has come into the picture and all this, your microprocessor, microcontroller, even all you even, everyone has your uh, mobile phone in your hand, or maybe you have kept it beside you. So the, the circuit inside that is very, very tiny chips are there. So millions of transistors or MOSFETs are uh, inside this, your IC of anything. So this is the basic concept of your industry. Now, what is the power electronics now then? We are not talking about the microelectronics or nano electronics rather than power electronics. So power electronics thinks if we deal with high power. It is not the say one watt, two watt, even not 100 watt more than can you imagine how much the power handling could be? Range, it could be megawatt range. You will, this power electronics devices, it is not that your diode will be like this, you have already seen in the lab, something like that. So it is not the small diode, rather than that the very big diode. Maybe the, the dia could be say one feet, and uh, even the length could be your uh, two feet, very big, and it will handle high current, kilo ampere range, and the voltage across it could be kilo volt. So we shall. So the main main concept is that we shall uh, handle the high power. Why? What is the problem? Why do we get this power? So in the power plant systems. in the power bottle plant system. So power system is, power system is very much uh, related to us because this power, electric power that has been given to you is the, uh, we can get it from, or there is say, okay, let us discuss this thing, renewable, non-renewable, unfortunately, right? 
energy. So this is your energy, renewable energy, non-renewable energy. So this renewable energy, what are what are the sources of the renewable energy here? So solar power, wind power, then turbines. <laughs> Not turbines. So renewable source of energy are say maybe solar. Anyone can say any other source of energy? Wind. Sir, actually, I said uh, turbine in, in place of hydroelectric power. Sir. Okay. Oh, yes. The We call it head of the water. You will block some water, and then the head will, head will be uh, high, means that there will be a lot of, you can uh, make a dam. In, uh, across across the river, the lot of water will be accumulated over there. There is uh, so the height of water will be very high, and then under the dam you can make a tunnel. And then if you just allow the water to go, it will go very forcefully, and then you can move your turbine and then generate electrical power. Okay, so wind is that one. Yeah, hydroelectric is okay. Hydroelectric, hydro, and then any other, any other renewable energy. Sir, geothermal. Geothermal. Okay. Geo. What is geothermal? Can anyone? Explain it. What is geothermal? So uh, heat from underneath the underneath the surface of earth. Yes. If you if you dig and dig and dig and if you try to go to the center of the earth, you will see inside uh, your earth there will be a lot of heat. You can use that heat to boil your water and then that uh, that steam will heat your uh, turbine blades and turbine will move and then it will be coupled to your alternator and then electric energy will be produced. Right. Okay, good. Geothermal. Any other? Nuclear. 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 Okay. Nuclear. Nuclear. So it, it uh, falls, is it renewable? It, it falls in the non-renewable. Okay, because uh, you have that uh, source is that uranium, and you have to make the conversion, and a lot of heat will be produced, and you will boil that one. So okay. Any other? Wind, hydro, geothermal, solar, there is wave energy, there is some wave energy. Wave energy means uh, the wave of your, say from sea, there is a lot of high wave. With that wave, you can design a turbine that will move. Uh, maybe you can, you can make the turbine like this, it will rotate or you can make that a transcendental motion means that up and down, and then you can use this energy. Okay. Anyway, so this renewable energy, we we can make it uh, usable, usable electric energy. The power electrons people will do this one, and they will design something so that you can. Solar cell will give you the say DC voltage, then this voltage will in um, uh, a solar cell itself very small, maybe it will have a 0.5 volt, then you can make series connection, parallel connection. Series connection will give you a lot of voltage uh, at 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Say if you add 100 in series, then you will get 50 voltage. Then if you add more, more, more and then you will get a lot of DC voltage. And if you make it parallel, then you will have a lot of current also, right? Yes, sir. So this DC voltage and current, you can use some devices, a converter to make it AC. This is the work of the power electronic engineer. So, and, but we must have that in the power electronics things, we must have the uh, electric power and we shall use this electric power so in power electronics, in power electronics, we want to, we want to process the 
electric power. Electric power. What does it mean by process? Converting. Yes. Suppose uh, you want to have biryani in your rectal. Okay. So you have some raw materials. So you have to process it, right? Who can cook biryani here? Is there anyone who can cook yeah, biryani? I can cook. Oh, you can cook. Good. So you have, must have the rice. You must have meat, have meat, then you have oil, and then spices, and a lot of things you have to do. And then you have to process it, right? This raw material will be processed, and finally, target will be your BD onion. So, in, in this Ramjan, if I say all these things, maybe water will come to your tongue. Who loves biryani among these 45 students? Sir, I love. You love. Yes. So the question is who doesn't? <laughs> who doesn't? So you look here with 30. Now 10 students have already left. So I will take the again attendance and then I will make them absent. We have uh, for how, how many students we, we have? 43. Now 45. 30, Yes, 43 was present. Now seven has left. I don't know why. So we'll take the attendance again at the end of the class. And then we'll find out who has left. Okay. And you know that this online uh, classes, your attendance bears a lot of marks. And Look, this is not directly from your book, what I am talking about. But if you, there will be probably viva, then I, if I ask question, if you don't listen to me right now, you will not be able to answer this question. I am very much sure. Okay, so, so CR, please tell this, those students who, has, who have left, and I am not satisfied. I am very upset. I am taking class, and you, 36 people are here, and uh, six, seven people have gone, and they are sleeping or what? This Ramadan day, they should not be doing anything except uh, uh, reciting from Quran or maybe sleeping. But what are they doing anyway? So to process is the main thing. We will have to process this this. Uh, Raw material. Our raw materials is the electric power. Who will supply this electric power? Who will supply this electric power? Sir, the alternator. Yes, but the who is who are the authority to supply this electric power? Okay. This is the basic block diagram. Block diagram. of power electron systems. We call it processor. There will be load here. And from there, we'll have the voltage and then output voltage, output current, and we'll measure this one, measurement, and that will fed, feed feedback to controller. This is, there is a reference here, and controller will give you the control signal to the processor control signal. So that will be your VI and II. And that will go to this system. Okay, let's hold on. 
in your net mohan book so there is a definition of the power electronics that i am giving you the definition just a moment okay just hold on okay here next class i will use the pdf book and from there i will write write down okay now this from the utility we call it utility utility people are who like your uh, washer washer is supplying your water water supply to your home they are the utility maybe the in bangladesh pdb power development board or what is that desco dhaka electric company supply i don't know desco how do you know this desco and dpdc dpdc these are the company they supply the electric power to you and what is the the, the normal voltage at your household of this Of so two twenty to two thirty volts. Okay, two thirty volt AC, and frequency is fifty uh, hertz. And that is that is available at your home. Now, suppose you have a DC motor. Are you familiar with the DC motor? Yes, sir. So, can you directly connect this voltage to your DC motor? No, sir. No. so we have to process it right so there will be some processor here so the most primitive processor is your say rectifier you can make this ac voltage to dc and then you can feed to your dc motor okay dc motor we want the volt the the rpm of this dc motor should be say 1000 rpm we want that always your motor should be running with this so when the the motor this is a motor this motor when it will get 100 1000 say 100 volt then motor will run 1000 rpm let me draw a very simple figure it is a linear so this is your say, voltage and this is your rpm so when the voltage is 100 volt then your rpm you know what is rpm yes sir What is RPM? So revolution per minute. Rotation per minute. Rotation per minute. Say we will get the 1000 RPM here. So we must provide the DC voltage here 100 volt DC. But your your supply is 230 volt. So we have to process our power here. And the thing is that uh, the we must have some measurement. There must be some sensors. sensors will sense this output voltage and it will give it to the controller controller could be very intelligent or it could be manual controller say a operator an operator could be set here he will see look at the uh, voltmeter and so he is saying that no voltage is 90 volt then it is 900 volt then he will do manually something to your processor here manually by using his hand and then voltage will be increased and it will try to give you 100 volt and if it is 100 volt reference is the is our say we want here 100 volt unless 100 volt is achieving from the output of your processor then it will process and this control signal will be supplied to your controller so this controller could be your microprocessor microcontroller all those things so inside this processor this is nothing we call it converter and there are a lot of converter here that we shall study inshallah one is the say ac to dc converter uncontrolled on controlled two is the say ac to dc con converter controlled what does it mean by uncontrolled and controlled here 
the output voltage cannot be controlled. If you use the diode, can you remember that output voltage VDC was 2 Vm by pi for your full wave rectifier? Can you remember? I taught you in yes, the second semester. So input voltage Vm that de determines the output voltage is this Vm is say uh, say this Vm is 400. Then we will we'll get 400 multiplied 4 divided by pi that will be visible that you cannot control it. But we can control some things if we use some other device known as SCR or thyristors. We'll learn these things here. So we can control this volt output voltage. And there will be DC to DC converter. Sometimes people call it chopper. So from you have the AC source, then you can make it DC by using a rectifier. That DC can be again controlled. That is your DC DC converter. And there will be also your uh, DC to AC converter. DC to AC we use in, uh, in our home, in your computer, if you have desktop, if you have a uh, UPS, here we make that DC to AC inverter. We call it inverter, okay? So these are the things that is inside this processor. So you can take the power, you can process it, and you, you can, you have to, you have to meet the demand of your customer. You have to demand of your user. So in power electronics, uh, in the nice way to see that it is written in your Ned Mohan books, in broad terms, the tax of power electronics is to process, is to process and control the flow of, control the flow of electric energy. You are controlling the flow of electric energy. So this is going from input side to output side. By supplying the voltage and current, this voltage and current you are supplying in a form. Where you want to supply this voltage and, and also it will be processed and you will supply this voltage and current in the output in a form to the load that is optimally suited for user. So what is this? The task of power electrons is to process and control the flow of the voltage of current in such a way so that you will meet the demand of your users. Suppose uh, a lady, Sadia is here. Anika, I, I saw Anika. Anika is here. Hello. Anika. Girls, can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Do you use hair dryer? Uh, no, sir. No. Okay. So, uh, okay, uh, there is induction heater nowadays are very much available. Anyone is using induction heater? So you can control the heat and cook your things. Anyway, so uh, suppose, okay, the basic, the basic example is that the, this load could be your mobile phone. You, are, you want to charge it, right? So what is the charging voltage? Is it DC or AC? Yes, DC. DC. It is DC, right? So, but the, you know, the power from utility from here, power from here, this power, this power is AC. So you have to process it and make, you, you have seen that, right? You, what you do, you plug a small uh, charger. Nowadays, it is very, very tiny. But say 15 years ago, the charger was also big. It is almost half kg or quarter kg. Now it is 100 gram. So you have to have this charger. It will take the AC power and it will process it. And then you will charge your mobile phone in a voltage of 3.5 or 4, but you are applying some voltages here. 
it will take take this 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 water so i i am taking too much time because our class is supposed to complete by 11:45 because today uh, they have reduced the time because of the ramadan so in a nutshell or in a summary what i want to tell you that the power electronic engineer demand is very high all over the world if you go so you are making new devices to make the demand of the people you want to make comfortable the people make the comfortable suppose uh, the user is just lying down on the bed he does not want to even move he want to control the uh, regulator by using like the ac you change the temperature of your ac by using a remote controller right so this can you can make a remote controller even to change the uh, speed of the fan actually it is also already in the market and you can change the uh, intensity of the light so in your book if you go and see that thousands of applications are there in power electronics they call it from household to the shuttle jump shuttle like the rocket that is going to mars people must use the power electronics things so uh, the power, if i am i am i am very much giving you the guarantee like if you are uh, becoming very good in because there is a controller if you are good in programming like a microcontroller and as well as you are a good designer to process the power there is no problem of getting job in bangladesh as well as in abroad in bangladesh the basic industry is now world on their energy pack they are hiring a lot of engineers in the power side the communication side is saturated nowadays but the demand of the power electronic engineer okay let me go back and stop the share then you can see me uh, so we, day by day the there is a the demand of power electronics is increasing so inshallah i have given you some introduction you can always see the video of your section c and a because same thing i did not repeat over there there are some additional information i have given if you like you can have the video and see what i told over there okay thank you very much and now okay let me check how many students 